Hello guys, it's Excel and welcome to the finale of the Wizard's Vault. For those of you that don't know, the Wizard's Vault is a competition that I have made for the Pets in Block story where they go up against another creature in a 1v1 duel. If they win the duel, they move on to the next stage. There are a total of 15 stages in this competition and each stage is harder than the last. In this episode, it is the Mech's turn. He is the last pet that is qualifying for this challenge. Can he live up to the hype and tie with Gontar and finish this challenge? It'll be interesting to see how far he might go, especially with the new update adding in knockback into the game. We will just have to wait and see. Let's do this. Alright, we have the mech versus the werewolf. It looks like the werewolf is going to get shoved right back and he's going to end up destroying my arena. What? Since when could you do that? That's not fair! Alright, here we go. Mech versus the Grizzly. Let's see what happens. And it looks like he's going to actually get set on fire and pushed back. And more of the arena is actually going to be destroyed. And it looks like the Mech is going to remain untouched. But for who knows how long that might be. Alright, we have the mech versus the basilisk. The basilisk doesn't even see him, and he is going to get sniped from a distance, and he is going to go down with ease. Alright, mech, let's move on to the next round. Next up, it is the big snow worm versus the mech. Looks like they don't see each other right now. Oh, the big snow worm is coming after the cameraman. All right, now it looks like he might see the mech, but the mech is going to push him back. And that should take him out very easily. Way to go, mech. Let's move on to the next round. Okay, next up we have the black werewolf versus the mech. The mech is once again going to push him back, and fire damage is going to happen. And he's going to get shoved all the way back up into the fence, and the mech still remains untouched, which I don't think has been done before. I mean, Gontar obviously went in there fighting, but even the snowman, I think, got hit a few times. Okay, mech, let's move on to the next round. Alchemist versus the mech. Let's see how this will go. It looks like the mech is going to notice him right away and shoot him, Alchemist doesn't even notice. Looks like that mech is just going to push him back some more. It looks like, yeah, he's going right up against the fence. I hope he doesn't destroy that. That would be really annoying to fix. It looks like, oh, he's being shoved back and he's going to go down right away. And there goes my fence. Mech, stop. Stop shooting. Stop it. Please. You're destroying my arena. Okay, there he goes. I, what did what, what, why you've destroyed everything okay let's move on I might have to clean up here soon let's move on all right next up we have the mech versus the ice elemental the ice elemental is uh, following the cameraman and now he doesn't even notice that he is being burned alive right now the mech is running towards here and he doesn't even notice, but it looks like the Ice Elemental is just going to uh, kill himself because the mech just shoved him up against the fence in the light here. So, alright mech, at least you didn't uh, destroy my arena too badly that time. Uh, let's move on to the next round. Yeah, let's do that. Next up, we have the mech versus Ted. It looks like Ted is going to get shoved way back there. And the mech is actually sniping him from a distance here. Let's see if we can get uh, Ted or the mech to get closer. It looks like Ted is going to follow the cameraman. And he's going to just get shoved back. It, it, he's going to go up against the fence, that's for sure. Yeah, there he goes. Hey, Ted, you want to come on back here? Follow the cameraman. Oh, is he going to get trapped? I, I had no idea there was actually water underneath this thing, and the mech is just going at it, destroying everything, might I add. It's a good thing this is the finale, and he's going to burst into flames, 
Come on, Ted. Let's see if we can help you out here. Come on, Ted. Come on, you gotta get out of there. Come on. There you go. Yeah, here comes a missile, though. You might want to dodge that. It doesn't look like he will. And he is going to... Um... Oh, no. He, he's retreating. He is retreating. There he goes. Ted is going to retreat. And there goes more of my... Um, my fence here. Yeah. Uh, th this isn't pretty. This is not okay. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Okay, next up we have the mech versus Barlog. And it looks like this is finally going to be the moment when the mech actually gets hit. Which is not very good, but at the same time, his bullets are pushing Barlog back. And now Barlog's going after the cameraman, that's not very good. They're both in yellow health, but it looks like the slight edge might be to the mech. Oh, there, the mech actually got hit. And oh, there goes the Barlog. He's going to retreat into the fire, and he's going to get pushed after he died. That, that, that's great. That's just fantastic. Thank you so much for um, making uh, repercussions to my arena in favor of you. Alright, let's move on to the next round. Okay, the Ice Dragon versus the Mech. Hopefully my arena doesn't get more destroyed. It looks like the Ice Dragon is choosing a running approach and then running after the cameraman. That's not very good. It looks like he won't even be able to take off and uh, he's just going to kill that big herb and destroy more of the arena. Oh man, D does the wizard destroy it too? Let's find out. Let's wait for this little fireball to drop. Okay, so he doesn't. It's just the mech that destroys everything. Way to go, mech. You are now uh, much stronger than the wizard is, apparently. Alright, let's move on to the next round. If any creature is probably going to take out this pet, it might as well be the visitor that can just teleport all over the place, just like you've seen right here. Okay, he's going to teleport. It looks like he's going to teleport right there. He's teleporting to the cameraman. Not very good. And now he is far away. He is burning up in flames right now because apparently the mech can now burn things. And he is still going after the cameraman. The mech is going to take two, no, three more shots at him. He is still holding up pretty well. I mean, he is in red health and the mech has yet to be touched. Come on, visitor, you're burning up here. Okay, he's going to go after the cameraman. That, that's actually going to hurt, so I'm going to... The cameraman's going to have to heal, but it looks like the visitor isn't even going to bother. No, of course not. He's too cool to fight the pet. I mean, he knows he's probably not going to win in the first place, so might as well just troll the cameraman, I guess. All right, Mick, let's move on to the next round. I think this is going to be one of the more interesting fights. Let's see what happens. The T-Rex is trying to get close to the mech, but he can't. This is amazing. The mech is like the most overpowered, wonderfully, just wonderful pet. Like, how could you not want a mech? Look at this. Look at this. He is invincible. He has not taken a scratch. And he is just mowing down these enemies like nothing. This is just wonderful. The only thing that I've been frustrated with is that he now destroys everything. This is amazing. Let's just move on. Might as well move on to the final round at this point because he's going all the way. Okay, the mech versus Aragog. I mean, really, is is Aragog actually going to go in there and see if he can get a hit in? Uh, he's actually gone kind of close, but it the mech is just proving to be the most unbelievably strong pet with his supply of rocket launchers that I gave him. He's not going to run out anytime soon, I don't think. He's still got like a thousand more to go, but he's not actually taking that much damage, though. So that's interesting. Oh, that, now he is. That was kind of weird. Maybe it's clipping a block or something? Come on, Aragog, you can do it. Come on. Come on, Aragog, he's right here. Your target is right here. You just have to take a few steps and walk up to him and swipe at him. He doesn't even have that much health. Come on. Come on, Aragog. It, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. There's no use. It, he's going to move on to the next round, even though um, it looks like his missiles are just tickling him now. He's just going to stand there and keep shooting. See... 
Who needs any other pet in this game when you when you just you have this? This is all you need. I mean, come on. Come on, Aragog. Hey, hey. Come on. There we go. He's going to go down, and uh, so is my arena at this point. If this thing is just gonna destroy itself. Okay, Mech. Let's see if you can go all the way. I have faith that Hydra can land a hit against this guy. It looks like he will be able to land a hit in. Look at that. Look at that. Hydra has been able to get in in some close quarters combat. And, oh no, he's going away. He's going away. He's going to attack the caravan. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now the mech is going to start firing some missiles at you. And look at that. Now you're being pushed away. But those swamp snakes, those swamp snakes are really distracting the mech. The mech might actually go to stop going after the caravan, Hydra. What are you doing? You're going to get caught in the endless loop. The mech is in red health. He cannot get hit again. He's actually creeping close to Hydra. I don't know if you should be doing that, but it looks like the ultimate comeback. It looks like the mech is actually going to take out Hydra because that snake is over there. I'm not messing with the mech. That was an unbelievable comeback. And it looks like the mech is just saying, oh, come on. Let's just move on to the next round already. Let's finish up this whole tournament. Here we go. It's the final round. Let's see if the dragon can even hit the mech. This is going to be very interesting. It looks like the dragon is actually kind of getting close. But it looks like it's just a repeating cycle. The mech is just too OP. And he's barely doing any damage too, which I find very interesting. Okay, there. That's a big hit. Oh, you know what? I think the dragon's actually healing from the fire. He is. The dragon is actually healing from these attacks at the same time. So the more he gets burnt, the more he gets healed. But at the same time, it looks like those um, rockets are actually doing a little bit more damage than it's taking time for him to heal. This is a very interesting fight here, but it looks like the mech is actually going to get out of this unscathed and be the second ever pet to finish this competition. There it goes. The dragon has officially been taken out, and the mech is proven to be the best pet in Block Story. I am so glad I left you to be the last pet in this challenge. I mean, look at this. I didn't even get any of my blocks back hardly from you destroying all this stuff. You made such a huge mess, this is going to take forever to repair. Well, at least you were the finale, so I don't even have to worry about this. I mean, well, it looks like there's a structure under there. Good to know, right? Anyways, let's move on and let's get yourself on the podium. And with that, the final battle has concluded in the Wizard Vault series. We've seen some hard-fought battles, some wins, some upsets, some defeats, and overall, two major victories. This series was a test of the pet's skills in Block Story, and some of them performed extremely well. However, with the mech finally being done, this concludes the end of the Wizard Vault series. I want to thank you all for coming along and enjoying the long ride this series had. And with that, it's time to move on to another upcoming series that I hope you will all stick around for. And I can't wait to show you all what's next. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.